Hi morning everyone, Richard here. I'm out at the park. Today is an interesting day. This is just my camera bag. But I don't have a big camera inside here. So I've got the tab inside here for editing. And a flash, small flash for macro. And a couple of uh, lenses. But these are just adapter, adapter lenses. One for macro, one for tele. And then another one for wide angle. So what am I doing? So what is interesting is I brought out my Fujifilm X70. Uh, it's got the flip up screen. It's very tiny. It doesn't have an EVF. It's just uh, from the back touch screen. You will look at it and uh, take picture. And a 28mm uh, full frame equivalent lens at f1.8 good thing is you can control the aperture here right so what i'm going to use this for is a travel lens travel camera right and uh, i can do macro by putting on the macro Raynox 250 in front and i can do this is my wide angle lens which i can use i'll show you and then this is my tele lens which is a 2x tele right so i'll also share the photos of you show you so i'm gonna take some photos i'm gonna show you how it works right okay so this is the standard uh, ring adapter for fujifilm x70 i have this is a lens uh, cover here right this is a where you could block the sun right so what happens i uh, i got the whole of this this is very interesting right this is a wide end conversion lens uh, times 0 0.7 from Sony. This is the VCL E07A. It's a lens for video cam, but it just fits nicely on this. Uh, you just tape it in, double tape from the bottom, the inside here, to this, <laughs> this hood, lens hood, right? So you just put it on. and it immediately becomes a wide angle lens so, so that's how it looks like and uh, this x70 design is such a way you need the wide angle to be further away from the uh, uh, fixed lens because it will not focus if it's very near even with the original wide angle is somewhere that far um, uh, monkeys so I've managed to get this to work, uh, wide angle from mid-range to infinity so it won't focus really near because it doesn't have a close-up focus for this for this lens, wide lens sure the monkeys are around anyway, uh, so let me show you how it looks like, let me switch it on okay, let's just focus on something first okay that's the field of view wait let's let's just show it this way let's just show it this way right that's the field of view uh with the lens on right okay and then with the white ends taken out that's the field of view okay so i hope you can see it i'm going to show uh, some photos and video if as well so let's do a video on this so I can't focus too near. So now this is with the white lens. Let's make a video of this. Okay, so this is how the lens look like in white format. You can see the entire uh, deck up there. Right, that's the video. I'm shooting with the white. Okay, this is with white, okay. I'm gonna take off the white and that's how you take it off. It's just a lens hood, right? So such a great way of hooking it up and this is the normal view 28mm so that's how it looks like 28mm and that's you can't fit it in okay the viewing deck the so let's put it back on so i can focus near when it's the normal 28mm but it won't focus when it's using the white you need to be at least a mid to far away somewhere here and you'll try to focus again yep let's focus in but it's white right so you can see it's much wider 
Okay, so that's how it looks like the video. So next up would be the two times teleconverter. What happened is 58 mm. I've got the 52 mm thread here. I just put on adapter, and this will make it a so 28 mm times two, right? So this Italians. So with the two X, uh, I'm able to do this uh, close up. There would be some vignetting at the side because uh, of the wide angle, but we have digital zoom, which is the what the uh, X70 does. It can go into 35 mm and 50 mm. So if I go to the max 50 mm, it will be 100 uh, mm tally. <laughs> it never fails to amaze me, right? You know what time it is now? It's 1140 something. And then the blower guy came again, so can't help it. They're everywhere. Can you imagine I can travel with this tiny little package and uh, I'll just bring the tally and the white and the macro and I can just go maybe to Bali or anywhere and uh, with such a small camera. The thing is I won't be able to do birds, uh, far birds, but if I'm visiting and traveling, maybe I'll just go to their zoo or their park where the birds are pretty near and this tally is sufficient to get the birds. Okay, I'm uh, close enough to get some shots. Right, so I'm going to do it with the tally lens and then without the tally lens. You can have a look. So the ducks are having their breakfast. So let's try to get some shots from here. So let's put it down. This is the normal 2x 28mm. Right, now I'm testing out the wide angle lens to show you. Since I'm here, I took a picture of Terry and I'll show you how the wide angle looks like. Uh, right, so that's the photo of the wide angle. And then I can take this out. That's the normal angle, 28mm. Uh, does the video work with the wide lens? Because it's, it needs to be far away. I need to be mid-range somewhere. Does it track my face, right? So I see the box, do you see the box there? Eh? That's a box on my face, right? So that's, that's the distance. If I go near, then the box goes away. And then if I go here, then the box is around. So you can see that. So video does work. It's still tracking me. And uh, thankfully, eh, not bad, right? For an old guy, this is a very, very, very old uh, lens. So now it's going to focus again because it needs to find me. And uh, it does work. That's with the white lens. That's how wide it is. I'm going to take it off and you'll see how it looks like. Okay, now it's uh, without that. This is so much narrow. Just now it was somewhere here. Right, but the tracking now is much better because it's using the native lens uh, and I can go nearer, you can see. That's how near you can get, right? S still a good camera, right? You can see there's a manual meter and that's the closest I can get on to. That's where the red uh, help guide will come out and then that's how close it is. And then with the Raynox, it's this close, right? So you put, it just fits nicely, right? So with the Raynox, your manual focus area is even closer. Right, so let's do some macro shots with this. Wonder how it comes out. That's how it came out. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. It's pretty good. F16. You can make it brighter. Just go down to uh, F14. Uh, then uh, with the full macro on. Let's get hold of it. I'm so lucky it's just hanging around there. And that's better, you can see the background a bit. That's the end. 
that's been uh, lumped together in the spider web. The spider is still there, right? Yeah, the spider is there, okay. The spider is at the tail end. So interestingly, that's the spider. Yep, that's the spider at the end there. That tiny little guy is biting on his butt. So, this X70 is real powerhouse, right? Uh, it would be great if it was uh, replaced with a 40 megapixel solar sensor. And then we can have great tele zoom. Okay, I'm gonna try my luck. There's a dragonfly here. It actually stayed. Oh, I was holding my breath. It actually. Look at that. Oh, I wasn't breathing just now. It actually stayed. And uh, couldn't get, I need to go nearer. So, how do you think of this little tiny powerful Fujifilm X70, right? Uh, little tiny wonder that can do macro portraits, uh, landscape even normal video selfie video because it's got a flippy screen so i'm very, very lucky i got hold of it i uh, used uh, got it off a good price and it was in mint condition so i quickly grab it up uh, i'm gonna keep this camera <laughs> it's very hard to get and uh, it's really worth the money getting it now in uh, 2024 now so little powerful pocket traveler so do give me a thumbs up if you like the video i'll see you next one have a nice day. Bye.